Hello everyone, it's Linda. In this video, let's learn how to make boundary detection and destroy entities. Let's open bullet mover graph and create a macro node named boundary check. Create two float3 input variables, boundary point A and B, for this macro node. Create an input variable. Entity translation of type flow3. Create a Boolean variable named out of boundary. We get the x and z coordinates of boundary point A, boundary point B, and entity translation respectively. Use the min and max nodes to compare the maximum and the minimum x and z for all boundary values in the x and z directions. Then compare the x and z values of the entity translation with the four boundary values to determine whether the x translation and the z translation are within the boundary. Let's connect all four Boolean results with a Boolean 4 type node and use the any node to determine if any of these four results are true. Pass the result to auto boundary variable. If the entity exceeds any boundary, the value of the auto boundary parameter is true. Okay, let's go back to the main graph. Pull out the translation of each query entity from the update node. Set the boundary coordinates, x between minus 7 and 7, and z between minus 12 and 12. They are all set to be smaller than the background size in order to clearly see the boundary restriction within the camera view. Create if node under on update and connect with the result of the boundary detection output. If condition is true, this means that the bullet has crossed the boundary and we need to delete the current bullet entity. Instead of deleting entity immediately here, in ECS way, we need to add a tag component, let's say to be destroyed. When if condition is true, create add component node and add to be destroyed tag you just created. Also connect the entity query result to the input. We need to create a component system called destroy entity and run it in post update phase. We destroying entity should be a post update command. Because if you destroy the entity when on update is being executed, other jobs that are using this entity will encounter errors because they can't find it. This is the multi threaded way of thinking and programming. Let's create an event called post update, which will happen after on update. We create a query condition, just query to be destroyed tag. Let's create a for each loop, enter the query condition we just created, and add the destroy entity node to it. Pull out each to be destroyed entity from the for each node and connect them to the destroy entity node. Let's take a look at the code viewer. Right, destroy entity takes place in post update commands. Let's play and test it out. Yes, now the bullets can be correctly destroyed after flying out of the boundary. That's all for today. See you in next video.